Good morning, kids, and welcome to the children's message for this week. I'm glad to have you in my garden today. I'm Pastor Guy, and um, I'm glad to have you in my garden because it helps me to illustrate one of my favorite Bible passages in Psalm 1. I want to read it for you, and then I'll say a couple of words about it. So, Psalm 1, beginning in verse 1, and we'll read verses 1, 2, and 3. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither, whatever they do prospers. Now, I want to show you two things. One, these are my tomato plants. I planted them about five or six weeks ago. And as you can see, they're growing healthy and strong. They're up to about here now, most of them. And um, they're looking really good. And I've even got some blooms on them. And that means that they're ready to start having the first tomato plants. Tomatoes, the fruit come out of, of the plant. And so I'm really excited about it because I love to eat this kind of tomato plant. Um, but I wanna show you another thing, which is I wanna show you this one. Now you can see it's a lot smaller than the other ones, but it was, a clipping from a plant that I had earlier this summer just like the rest of these were. Now the difference is that um, I took the other clippings and I put them here in the ground. I put, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in the ground, but this is one of the ones that I didn't put in the ground, and you can see the difference. These have had good soil, and they've had water, and they've had um, good attention paid to them, but this one's just been sitting off to the side. It hasn't had all of those things. In the Bible verse, it talks about people who are um, who delight in God's word, in God's law, it says, but we can think of that as God's word, God's instruction for us in the Bible, that when we are planted by a stream of living water, that is when we get the attention that we need and that when we um, are really reading the Bible and listening to it and praying about it and understanding what it's teaching us, that that gives us living water and nourishment and it helps us to grow healthy and strong in God and in our life. And so what I hope for you is that you will grow healthy and strong in Jesus by reading the Bible, by learning the Bible, by memorizing some of the verses and that will help you to grow healthy and strong because the Bible is so important for us. God's Word um, gives us hope and grace and love and peace. God's Word tells us the truth when we need to hear the truth about something. And it also gives us comfort when we're having a difficult time. God's Word is very important. It can help us really grow healthy and strong in God. And the other thing I would say about um, my garden and about the scripture too is that it helps to have other people who can help us to grow in our understanding of God's Word in the Bible. In my garden I've had a couple of our church members Mr. Mead and Mrs. Moore who've really helped me a lot in learning about things I can do to help my garden get better and just like that you can have people in your life maybe it's parents or grandparents or maybe it's people at church one of the adults at church who encourages you and helps you to understand God's Word and helps you to want to read it more and want to learn it more. That is really important. And so what I'd like for you to do today is I'd like for you to draw a picture of a tree or a plant that has a nice river beside it or that's getting all the water it needs. It's planted in good soil so that you can um, draw a picture of what a person can be like if they have all the nourishment from God's Word that they really need. Let's say a prayer together. God, we thank you for your word in the Bible. We thank you that it can nourish us and that it can strengthen us and that it can help us grow. Lord, send us people to encourage us and to teach us and to strengthen us and help us to encourage and strengthen others. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.